today we are discussing question and answers for Cisco ENS DWI 300-415 Implementing Cisco SD-WAN Solutions If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Our question is what are the two advantages of deploying cloud-based based Cisco SD-WAN controllers? Choose two. Option A. Centralized control and data plane. Option B. Distributed authentication policies. Option C. Management of SLA. Option D. Infrastructure as a service. Option E. Centralized rate storage of data. The correct answers are option C and D. Our next question is, an engineer is troubleshooting a certificate issue on VEdge. Which command is used to verify the validity of the certificates? Option A. Show control local properties. Option B. Show control summary. Option C. Show certificate installed. Option D. Show certificate status. The correct answer is option A. Our next question is, what is the benefit of the application aware firewall? The options are, option A, it blocks traffic by MAC address. Option B, it blocks traffic by MTU of the packet. Option C, it blocks traffic by application. Option D, it blocks encrypted traffic. The correct answer is option C. Our next question is when VPNs are grouped to create destination zone in zone based firewall, how many zones can a single VPN be part of? Option A 2, Option B 4, Option C 1, Option D 3. The correct answer is option C. Our next question is, which attributes are configured to uniquely identify and represents a TLOC root? Option A, system IP address, link color and encapsulation. Option B, firewall, IPS and application optimization. Option C, site ID, tag and VPN. Option D, origin, origi originator and preference. The correct answer is option A. Our next question is, which device information is required on PNP ZTP to support the zero touch onboarding process? Option A, serial and chassis number. Option B, interface IP address. Option C, public DNS entry. Option D, system IP address. The correct answer is option A. Our next question is, which configuration setup step is taken on vManage after WAN edge list is uploaded? Option A, send the list to controllers. Option B, Enable the ZTP process. Option C. Verify the device certificate. Option D. Set the device as valid. The correct answer is option D.